Hey everybody, it's me. Happy holidays to you all. It is New Year's Eve and I hope you guys will be staying safe this year. Um, I do want to uh, share some things with you all and I know that it's, you know, the last of the year. It is the end of the year, but that doesn't mean it's the end of a thing. And a lot of times, I guess there might be a notion that you know, the pandemic will leave once the new year comes in. We put ourselves in this reset button um, at the end of the year instead of starting right now to make the change, right? So I do want to share some things with you guys, some things that were on my mind. And God gives us parables um, to help us understand his word and help us understand and direct us in life, right? So um, I was in the kitchen the other day. And I was reaching for an apple. When I pulled up the apple, I recognized that it was rotten on one side. So I went to go grab the apple that was directly under it and recognized that that was rotten as well. And then the apples that were on the outside were pretty decent. Um, I say all of that to say this. Um, who are you connected to? The Word of God says that evil communication corrupts good morals. It also says that a little leaven spoils the lump. Um, he also told us to be separated. Um, and actually there's a saying that says, um, don't let one rotten apple, apple spoil the bunch. There we go. Um, I say this to say not to cut off every person in your life and in your family. Um, I'm saying that sometimes we try to save other people that we find ourselves dr drowning in the process, right? Um, we hold on to the same people and uh, recognize that they could possibly be the ones that are hindering us or stumbling blocks before us um, when we desire so much and pray so hard to God for us to um, grow or to do better. Um, and sometimes it's just all in us discerning or evaluating um, the people in our lives. It's not solely this situation, but this could be one thing that causes a hindrance in your growth. Right. And God desires for us to grow in him. Um, so a lot of times we want to hold on to family. We want to hold on to friends. And um, we don't recognize that those people that we're connected to could be the factor that's um, not being uh, effective in our life. But they could be infecting our lives um, like generational curses. Generational curses are not just some spooky hocus post pocus thing or you know, that just carries on on the bloodline. It's also uh, generational bad habits that are created. And we join ourselves with our families and not strong enough to stand on our own morals or um, a good, you know, good character that God has called us to walk into, right? So I'm saying all of this to say that um, this year, really evaluate yourself, evaluate your uh, surroundings and look inside of yourself and say, am I being effective to other people? Am I being infected by other people? Um, every time I come around you, I find myself thinking, saying, and doing the things that I don't want to do. Um, and that has to change. But I know you love those people and you care a lot about them, but do you love yourself enough to let them go so that you can grow in Christ and all that he's called you to do? He's called us to be a light and sometimes people are sent or we allow them to come and dim that same light that God has called us to shine so bright, right? Um, I had a sermon that I spoke like some months ago. And in that, I researched about like the production of trees. And I realized that um, a lot of trees grow at their best when they have similar trees close to them. So if there's something that you want to do, you want to get around those people who are doing those things that you want to do so that it help you to grow. Um, also, I know a lot of times people can bug you or get on your nerves, but some insects like bees are helpful in your life to help you to grow. They help um, pollinate certain fruit or um, flowers that you carry, right? So um, some people might be irritating to have in your life, like a boss or um, a relative that can just be irritating or agitating. But sometimes you need certain people in your life, but you have to discern which one um, is necessary and which one isn't necessary. Also, because you can have some insects that are infective, I'm sorry, infectious to your fruit. They can bring uh, canker worms. They can bring rottenness. They can basically tear your whole person down 
you know, and it's one thing to have such potential in the earth, but it's another thing to bury that same amount of potential um, back into the earth. So um, I say this all to admonish you that this year, um, make the best of this year and really evaluate the people that you connect yourself with um, and really think about what direction that God has you to go. Um, you want to be all that he calls you to be, right? Um, so I just, I love you to, to life and I wanted to encourage you guys to push forward in God and do your best to be your best self in Jesus name. All right. Bless you. Love you to life.